Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we've got Gunslinger Burning Pair, Suicidal. Ah, oh, right on into this. I like Burning Paris a lot. I really do. The original, not the original, but the, uh, like, the, the, the default maps that come with KF2 are, in my opinion, just some of the best. You know, they're the ones that are made by, by, uh, the other peeps out there who are making some maps, and some of them are really, really fantastic. Like, Steam Fortress is fantastic. That was made by, uh, somebody else. KF Rig, I think, is awesome. Uh... There's another one recently. Hotel Z is pretty sweet. Um, like, there's lots of really, really, really great maps out there. But for me personally, I think that the ones that uh, are included with KF2 by default are just—they're uh, the best. And I don't think it's because they're—they're well—they're better designed or whatever. But um, I don't know. Just play on these maps. It's uh, there's a certain sense of just rightness that comes with it. You know, not righteousness, but rightness. You know, it feels it feels right. There's there's a certain I don't know, but it just feels where feels natural to me, so I like them the most. But uh, you know, if you only play on them, then it gets boring and tedious. And having some variety is also very, very nice at times, especially experiencing new maps. And some of them are really, really fun, uh, really well designed, cool to look at. Like, like I said, Calf Rig, Hotel Z. Uh, you know, getting into some some other stuff like uh, Kami Island and. Aperture and all these kinds of things as well is also pretty fun, but I like the like the burning Paris nuked outpost um, Bio uh, biotics lab, you know all these that are kind of the basic default uh, Maps made by the uh, the original peeps that made kf2 in general and I think that uh, There's a certain I Don't know maybe it's uh, maybe it's just that the designs are kind of in sync with the Zeds I don't know, it just it feels, uh, feels like it fits to me, you know? I couldn't tell you why, but it feels good. To play on Burning Paris, to play on Nuked, to play on Outpost. You know, these, these maps, they just, they, uh, they feel good to me. I don't know why, it's, it's an unexplainable feeling of mine that I have, but I do like them quite a lot. Steam Fortress, while well, good, it just, it's, uh, I don't know, the other maps, they kind of feel like I'm playing a different game, you know? And then these ones, it feels like, yeah, just get some good old classic KF2, you know? And, uh, I think it does real well. Anyway. Any hoozle. I got my, uh, so I have, I'm on hormones. You know, I'm on, uh, I'm on a Spyro and a Stradial. Uh, so it's an anti-androgen and then an estrogen supplement. To, uh, get rid of the testosterone and then to replace it with estrogen. That's the that's the goal with these uh, with these hormones, with the the medication that I'm on. Uh, estradiol is a, is a tiny pill. It's like I take four milligrams a day in two pills. So they're like two milligram pills. They're they're just so incredibly small, you know. And then the uh, the Spiro is two 100 milligram pills that I take, um, and I take both of those once a day, so four pills total every day. Which is, 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 uh, it's not a lot, but it's kind of a lot. Um, the Spyro, the, the one that blocks the testosterone, it, uh, you know, that one can go eventually for, for reasons that, that we won't necessarily discuss just yet, um, but that you might be able to figure out on your own. <laughs> um, but the, the Spyro will be able to go, but the Spyro is, it, it tastes terrible, right? It's, it's like this uncoated pill. And it's just that the taste is horrid. Um, I went to get my replacement the other day because I uh, I had run out of my pills, as I had, uh, as I had discussed previously. And when I went there, they, they said, "Hey, it's it's like a, a new brand of uh, of this pill, but it's the same thing. It's still the spironolactone. It's still the 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 same amount, the same prescription. Like it's the same stuff. It's just a different brand, um, but it's the same stuff." And I'm like. Well, if, if if that's what you're giving me, then <laughs> my my options are are this or don't get my hormones, and like that's not an option. So, like, okay. Um, so I took them, and they've got this uh, well provocative like engraving on them of a uh, well some genitalia, it would appear, uh, which is 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 kind of funny to me, but 
I was like, you know, as long as they don't taste, I mean, they, you know, they, they, they tasted pretty bad, right? Like the, the Spyro before, the original ones that I had, they tasted bad. I hated it. I loathed taking them because um, they, they just tasted horrible. And uh, I was like, you know, it couldn't possibly be worse. So, you know, now I just get like a, a little design on it and I, uh, I get the same stuff and, you know, whatever. I take it once a day. It doesn't really matter, right? No. <laughs> holy, holy crap. They're disgusting, and it's like they're 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 not that big. Like they're hundred milligram pills. They're not super big, right? Like they're 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 reasonably small, but they about the size of a uh, like an easy Tylenol, like a um extra strength Tylenol, like those little round things. Like it's about that size, and I take two of those a day. It's like they're not that big. Um, it's not the biggest pills I've seen anyway, but they're they're normal size pill. Um, but like, that's still a small piece of thing that you're gonna be eating or swallowing anyway. Not really eating it so much, but um, it's so small, and the taste is so strong. Like you put it in your mouth for a moment, wash it down with some water, and it's just, it's like the most disgusting thing I have to do. Every night I've been taking, I've taken it twice now. As of the time of recording this, I have to take another one tonight, obviously, you know, every day. And, uh, oh, I just, I feel like I'm going to vomit every time I do it because it's just disgusting. It's impressive how disgusting it is. <laughs> you know, like, I didn't think that they could make pills that gross. You know, and it's like, it's the same stuff, right? How is it so much grosser because it was already gross it was it already was not good it was already not a pleasant experience and then they made it like 10 times worse i've got to take this for three months every day for for three months and it's just oh, just like opening the pill like uh things like the the, ar the aroma that just wafts out from it is just horrible and uh, it makes me just really hate having to take this medication because it tastes so bad. I have no idea how you how you can make medication like this taste because it's like like I said it's, it's they're just these small little things, and yet it's like the strongest flavor of anything I've ever had, and it's not a pleasant one. It it you know, it's just horrible. It's disgusting, and uh, you know that's my life for the next three months. I mean I'm sure I'll get used to it after a couple of weeks, but. You know, just like get it over with, and I you know, got used to the other ones. But at least three months of this, right? At least three months, minimum, because I've got three months of medication that I have to use up before I go get another replacement, uh, another refill. And uh, at that point, I'm I'm praying <laughs> that I get uh, the the old stuff back because you know this stuff. It's gross. I got a text message. I got to check real quick. This stuff is gross, but, um, or the, the, the old stuff was gross, but, like, I could manage it. This stuff is, I, I'm not sure I'm able to manage it, really, honestly. It's, it's horrible. It's disgusting. It's, like, the most disgusting thing I've ever had. And I've tried a lot of disgusting things. They're just, they're disgusting. I'm amazed that they, they could make something this gross. So it was specifically engineered to be, like, just nasty. <laughs> and they did a great job of that. But it's, uh, it's, it's impressively bad. So, if you, guys, uh, if you guys ever get on the Spinal Actone, and they say, hey, there's a brand change, and your stuff already tasted, like, horribly disgusting, just know. It can get worse. <laughs> it can get worse! I don't know, maybe, maybe you start off on the same stuff I'm on now. Maybe, maybe your maybe your maybe your uh, brand changes to the <laughs> to the better tasting one, which is still terrible. But relative to this, it's like oh, it's like eating dog poop and then like you know candy. <laughs> it's just the difference is insane. Oh, it's terrible! It's terrible. It's like I can't just not take it, you know. That's not an option. I don't. I don't. I don't have that ability to, to not take it. Not yet. Anyway, one day I will be able to not take it. And I tell you, if uh, 
if this is gonna be the new life going forward well, I'm gonna I'm gonna start making making some plans to not have to take it anymore cuz oh it's horrible it is horrible I actually had plans to um, remove the need for it. Look, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you what it is, okay? You either know what it is or you don't. Um, <laughs> it's, 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 yeah. Um, but I, uh, I actually had plans to, to get it to be no longer a necessity for me. And then uh, COVID hit. And they were like, yeah, so about that uh, optional thing that you wanted. Um, Money, we're not going to do it because we have more important things to worry about. And I'm like, okay, I can respect that. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, I'm not upset about it, but I am upset about it. You know, it's like, uh, you can be upset about something, but not mad at people about it. You know, it's like, uh, I mean, COVID got that. So there was that, uh, whole thing that I wasn't able to do anymore because of COVID, which, which sucked. Um, and then I was going to move out. I can't do that anymore because because that sucks. I mean, at this point in time, the only reason I can't move out is because I'm committing to the YouTube. Um, that that that's the reason I can't move out now. Uh, it's because I've it's because I've committed to YouTube. Um, I could go and get another job now. Like it's it's fine. You know, I could I could move out if I had the money. You know, like but I'm I'm, I'm committing to YouTube and I don't have money to move out. And that's that's you know. But initially, the reason why I didn't move out was uh was because of COVID. Um, and it's like, you know, I'm, I'm mad about it because like it sucks because I would love to have moved out and I would have loved to have not had this other thing that I just touched my glasses. I had this other thing that I was planning get, um, mixed up as well. Uh, you know, so I'm, I'm like extremely frustrated by it and it's like really, really just horrible that I have to put up with it, but... It's like, yeah, but that's like realistically a, a small problem in the grand scheme of things when it's like, you know, people are dying and stuff. And it's like, I know, you know, but I'm still allowed to be upset about it, right? I'm allowed to, I'm allowed to not want to have to be uh, subjected to something. It's just, uh, you know, you see, you can go too far with it and be like, you know, pity me, pity me. Your life's not that bad. I, I unfortunately have to keep living at my parents' house with a roof over my head and food in my mouth, you know, like. I'm, I'm healthy, you know, and I don't, I'm not sick. Nobody in my family's really died. Well, actually, we have had uh, a couple of uh, scares, but um, yeah, we're, we're, we're doing fine. You know, it's like, I know I recognize that I'm privileged in that case, but uh, yeah, I'm allowed to be upset about it. <laughs> it does, it does. Nah, see, there's, there's nothing good about, uh, about COVID, really, but that's enough about COVID. I don't want to be negative. I don't want to be negative. Squeak, squeak. New chair, I might actually... Nah, I don't have the money for it. I was going to say I might get a new chair. Might order one. I don't have the money for it. I have to wait until next month. Um, I'm not rich. I'm on disability. They pay me a lot of money every month for doing nothing. But, like, I also have bills to pay and I have to eat and stuff. So it's like, you know... It's not quite enough for me to spend willy-nilly on whatever I want. But it is enough for me to, to survive and, and, and spend on, uh, on some things anyway. Which is, uh, is more than I can, uh, you know, would have expected from this. I mean, the amount of money that I'm getting on disability is just insane. But it has been nice lately. You know, I'll take advantage of it <laughs> if, if I'm going to get it. My, my personal belief in whether or not I, I should have it aside, you know. I don't, I don't get to make that decision. And uh, if I'm going to get it, I'm going to take advantage of it. For sure. So money into the savings and... Purchases on, on future things and all that. But, oh, come on. I didn't miss that. That was, like, what? One millisecond off? Don't even. Don't even. I thought I saw a uh, gore fiend over here. Gore fast, maybe? I thought I saw one over here. I suppose I didn't. You yeah. know? It would appear as though I did not. What do I know? It's like I'm the one playing the darn game. Or anything like that, you know? 
Back in the game. I am getting tired. It's uh, it's like quarter after six now. I've got another well, probably three hours to record. Two hours, two and a half, three hours to record something like that. Got a Yam Jack tries two gun fairy born and uh, another KF two to record after this. So that's been yeah, three hours ish. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a long night for me. This is why uh. I mean, I've talked about it before, but the only problems for for later you, you know, deal with deal with the problems with today's you, whatever whatever problems you got, because later you is gonna be more tired than you are now. The exception to that is sleeping. Okay. Well, actually no. Deal with deal with your tiredness now too. Okay. If you're tired, go to sleep. It's, it's important. You know, too too often I see people being like, yeah, I'm gonna stay up and pull an all nighter. Just get up. In, in, in the morning and then do it then when you're well rested you know I guess you're playing an all-nighter you, you don't you're not sleeping anyway but it's like if you're gonna be sleeping anyway like just just do it like I'm not going to bed until I get this done just go to bed and then oh hello uh, go to bed and then get it done when you wake up you'll be, you'll be well rested and you'll feel better I could leave uh, a gun fairy born for tomorrow <laughs> Speaking of leaving problems for tomorrow, you. I like the Gunfire Reborn series, though. I mean, I could do a Yamajack tries. I'm just really not in the mood to record two Yamajack tries today. It's not a fun series to record sometimes, you know? Sometimes it's super fun. Sometimes it's, like, just really not fun. Depends on whether I pick out good games or not. And lately, we have not had a particularly great track record, so... Yeah. Oh, well. Snapchat's got this new anime filter. Everybody's everybody's going crazy over it. Everybody's going insane. Like, look, look at me, I'm an anime girl. <laughs> I mean, uh, I've I've also done it, so I I uh, I, I, I will admit that uh, I am one of one of one of said you know. Uh, People to have to have been excited about the anime filter and used it. I mean, I like those kinds of things personally. They're fun. I don't actually use Snapchat to take pictures and like talk to people and stuff, but um, I use it for filters and stuff for funsies. It's fun, you know. It's what it's there for. I don't care about the, the sending pictures to people on Snapchat. I'll send it. I'll take a picture in, uh, in Snapchat, save it, and then <laughs> send it to somebody on Discord, you know. But. Let's see. Do you wanna do you wanna share my anime picture? My anime me? Do we wanna? I'm thinking, I'm thinking if I wanna. I wanna share my anime picture. Everybody's going crazy about the anime filter though. Everybody loves it. They're taking pictures and they're trying to get it broken and stuff. It happens every so often, you know. Snapchat comes out with a new filter and then Snapchat gets a whole bunch of extra users because everybody's like, oh my god, look at this new filter, and everybody downloads Snapchat to go and look at the new filter. Tell you, it works really, really well. It works like shockingly well. They release a new filter, and everybody does their advertising for them. I don't know how they make money. How do they make? Money? Does Snapchat have like a subscription service or something like that for cloud storage or something? Or they just sell your pictures and stuff to people? So that could happen, right? Is that in the terms of service? Is that what they're doing? Because if it's free, you're the product. That's that's uh, that's what I always say. That's what I was told as a, as a young child. If it's free, you're the product. No such thing as a free lunch. Uh, what other what other kind of stuff can we get? You guys uh, have been using that anime filter though. If you haven't, you're a monster. I mean, I'm just saying it. Let's see. Do we want to share? Let me let me let me take a look here. Okay, hold up. Yeah, sure, whatever. We'll we'll go ahead and take a peek here. Okay. Here's here's my here check check it out. Face reveal. Anime face reveal. I'm in my pajamas. That's that's what I do. There it is. Look at that. It's anime. That's me. With the anime filter and my dog pajamas. <laughs> I love these dog pajamas. You're a little bloody, but you'll live. This is a it's anime, man. Everybody loves it. Else? 
Everybody loves it. I love it. You love it. We all love it. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. I forget what the last one was that Snapchat did. I forget. What was it? It was, um... Oh, I don't know. We do one every now and then, and, uh... Yeah, people go crazy about it. Forget what the last one was. Was the last one the, like, feminizing one? Can't remember. Just crouch. You can't hit you if you crouch, remember? How he can't hurt you if you're crouched, and he can't hurt you if you're not crouched, because he's a little wimp. Yeet. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Face reveal. Wow. <laughs> anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future, comment if you have anything to say. I like to try and sit here for like 10 seconds. I moved the end cards down to be um 10 seconds instead of 20 seconds long. I think it's better. I like to sit here for like 10 seconds. Let people uh, see the stats and whatnot before the end cards pop up. But anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.